Right, before this video begins, I'm putting uh, half of this video on to YouTube. If you want to see the whole recommendation, just click on the link below uh, and it will take you to my Storyfire account, which gives you all my recommendations. And come and join us on Storyfire. Right, another daily. Sorry I missed yesterday. Had so much work to do, just could not fit in anything extra. It was chock a block. Um, what am I talking about today? Well, I. Firstly, is it your Thanksgiving? I never know what your holidays are and what your and I'm sure you've been talking about it on the feed, but I just like I forget about it and it's just come up in my head right now. I don't know, maybe it is. Does it, November twenty fourth seems about right in my head. Not sure. Anyway, maybe you're having a good one. I think that would make it like a national holiday. I think for you guys, I don't even know what Thanksgiving's about. I think it's something to do with the Native Americans and some turkey and a dinner because I've seen it like on TV, but I don't actually know. What it's about feel free to educate me put in the description what it is about someone do a written about what thanksgiving is about and i'll read it okay i'll read it and i'll learn okay i won't wikipedia it i'll let someone actually tell me about it because i'd love i'd love to know but it's not something we do in england um or i think anywhere else in the world i don't think thanksgiving is anywhere else in the world i don't know about canada because like that's the americas um but uh, and then some good news. I've just been on um, my favourite website, and it, it's only my favourite website from about November time. It's called uh, weathertoski.com, and basically it gives reports on on uh, ski conditions. And um, it's been a really warm, uh, like autumn, move into winter for Europe. I mean, it's been warm in England. It's just suddenly started to cool down, and it's because of the jet stream above us. So it's a current of air that comes across from America over to Europe and it's kind of just made it warm and Europe's been warm and there's not really been any snow in the mountains and then suddenly now they're getting flurries of snow and I'm going in exactly one month because I'm going on 24th of December to France. I am so excited. I am like, I can't wait to go. I'm going to go snowboarding. I've, like I've already got all my snowboarding gear out just over there. Like it's out and I'm not going for another month. I'm just that excited. Um, I'm driving down uh, with my best mate and or one of my best mates just in case my other best mates listening no you're both best mates. in fact there's three of them so let's just there's three of them so whew, let's not let anyone feel hurt but i doubt the other two are watching uh, i doubt even my my best mates watching um but yeah so really excited about that um snow started happening the snow started falling uh my mate in france has been sending me pictures of the mountains and they're starting to get snow on them because he works in the mountains uh and his his place is right there so i'm really excited but so we're going into december holiday season for people and i thought i'd talk about my my subject that i really understand i think i've got that a little bit like let's go like that um so I um, I thought I'd talk about my subject, the subject that I can talk most comfortably about in the whole wide world, and it might be useful to all of you, uh, and that is wine, right? Vino fire, that's who I am, and I thought I'd give you some recommendations to like help you out, because people like help with wine come this time. Like, what should you buy, okay? And there's like... There's an array of wines, and I, I, I the, you, you, like, if you start now, you can put together a really good selection of wine, uh, ready, because it gets harder and harder as, as, as it gets, because like you start spending money rapidly through December, and then the wine can sometimes take a bit of a back step. So, uh, some recommendations for you, okay? If you want to save some money, I'm going to give you some recommendations. If you want to um, go heavy, I'll give you some recommendations. Um, so let's let's get started with symbols. You're gonna if you're gonna have a, a good selection of wine, you're gonna want a sherry to go with your pudding. You're gonna want port to go with your cheese, especially if you're gonna have some Stilton or, or a blue cheese. Uh, you're gonna want a sparkling wine. So I'm gonna give you some a range of ideas for sparkling wine, and then um, you're gonna want a white wine. So you're gonna want a white, and then you're gonna want a good red. Okay, so that's sort of six wines. Okay, sherry really is for that older generation like most people don't go out and buy sherry although it is coming back into fashion a little bit um so all you need to do is ask the older people in your family what type of sherry they like now sherry is made all in this area that is called jerez in in andalusia in southern spain and the method for making sherry is like really dependent on so as they're making the sherry 
um, they're deciding what type of sherry it will be depending on how the grapes react um, and they put them in these amazing barrels and um, like they some of the barrels that what they do for educational purposes they put a piece of glass or perspex at, at one end so you can see what's going in on so basically they allow, allow this like um, yeast uh, called floor to grow on the top uh, but not all types of sherry have this and so it depends what type of sherry you're buying so ask who it is in your family what type of sherry they like do they like um, a pale sherry do they like a cream sherry what type of sherry do they like um, I personally like the Olorosos I think they're they're very very nice I think um, I'm not a fan of a cream sherry just personally um, but you might be with older people and they really love a cream so it's quite common um, but they have different profiles and actually what can be quite interesting is to get a range of sherries um, but the darker the sherry is the more walnutty it's going to taste which is great with pudding okay that walnutty deliciousy flavor oh yummy okay um, I don't recommend anyone cheats on sherry I don't I don't recommend it don't get cheap sherry get a really good sherry um just personal recommendation um but find out ask your grandparents what type of sherry do you like if they don't like it then you know waste of time but if they do like it don't waste your money because this is there's such a range like there's an amontillado um so and uh, do you know what i can't bother to go through it just ask and get the answer that's my uh recommendation now um next oh and they also taste really raisiny and that obviously goes well with pudding you know, simple um right port port again you know if you're going if you're going to drink it with um with uh, blue cheese i really strongly recommend that you get uh, an a a vintage port uh, and a, like a really good sweet vintage port I'm not going to go into too much depth, but again, port, don't cheap out. I mean, you don't have to go expensive, but don't, don't cheap out on port because port is, um, port takes a long, long time to get right. You know, they don't make port in just six months or whatever. There's a lot of wines they make in six months and it's done, but port, no. Port is a, is a long process. Um, and when you when you look into it you realize how much effort goes into making port and it's it's a really special wine obviously from the area of port in portugal that's why it's called port um but get it and get a really good stilton i promise you you will never ever ever have a better combination it is <gasps> incredible and those so those two i would say don't cheap out on get a good sherry and get a good port Two sweet wines, lovely.